you seen this yet? You know all your shit comes down on my head. No, you listen to me. It's like you're a, a big bird with radar, and I am tired of getting hit. Is this my fault? This? This is nothing. I got union lawyers threatening me. This talk of a of, of a walkout. What well, they let them? They're not teaching anything down they there do anyway. Do something about it. Not one of them has a personal stake in that school, Frank. The not one. Fire chief says it's illegal to bar doors. And Mrs. Barrett is organizing a parents group to remove you. Since you suggested that they get off of welfare. Because the fact is that quite a few of them need it. Listen, Frank, I wasn't talking about all of them. Now listen, you came and recruited me, man. You disappoint me, brother. You disappoint me. The disappointment me. here is you. Me? Yes. Look, you know me 15 years. You knew what I would do. You know exactly how I operate. Be quiet. The fact is, you're screwing everything up. You're the one alienating everybody. You have no life. Your wife left you out to walk out myself. Then go ahead. Bow the hell on out. But I said I would back you up. That's what you said, Frank. That's what you said. Brother, I will go through the fire with you. But you're not taking care of business. And this shit you got going on now is just plain loco. Now you're gonna fire Darnell? What the hell was that? Darnell is symptomatic of the disciplinary problems we Darnell have. Darnell is a system. good, strong, young black teacher. So he dumped that desk on top of your head. Good for him. You'll reinstate that man, you hear? <laughs> and, now, and, now, and now you wanna fire Mrs. Elliott? Why? Why? Because she don't wanna kiss your ass? Well, I wouldn't either. How about that? Mrs. Elliott has an ego problem. What, you lost the best teacher that we had? Now there's no chance we can ever get her back. Listen, I don't have time for Mrs. Elliott's Well, problems. you better make time. Frank, we are being crucified by a process that has turned the blacks into a permanent underclass here, Frank. A permanent underclass. Yeah, no. Walk away, because nobody wants to talk about that, right? Nobody. Mrs. Elliott's missionary zeal about Mozart has absolutely nothing to do with our problem here. What good is Mozart going to do a bunch of children who can't even go out and get a job? Joe? Your personal issues is going to cost us the war. You better focus on those test scores. What the hell do you think and I'm worried about? The discussion debate is over. You will write a formal apology. Hold on, I will a what? formal apology for your treatment of Darnell and Mrs. Elliott and for your thoughtless insults to the women of this community. You will kowtow. You will step in front. Get on front. This is the way of the world. Since, since you're so hot on discipline, then damn it, start accepting mine. Because contrary to popular opinion, I'm the head nigga in charge here. Come on. Let's get something to eat. You really think you're bad, don't you? <laughs> <laughs>